is general reading, this may or may not resonate. Okay, if it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. Or man. You can have ghosted someone, or this is definitely someone who's ghosted you, okay? Someone who's taking their time. Probably this person needs to make a very, very important decision. Could be someone who's fearing commitment or someone who needs to just make a important decision, which can change their life. You know, the lovers is uh, life changing decisions, right? A very significant decision, which can have severe re repercussions or something that's just going to flip your life around. But this person could be wanting to choose between two people, needing to make a very head over heart decision. But as someone who is close to you or someone who is in isolation, not talking right now, you can be in separation from this person. I'm getting no contact right now. Someone's doing a lot of contemplation, you know. Yeah, when, where, how, why. Looks like there's a break between you guys, I think. Huh. Wanted to come out, see? There's a strong twin flame connection you have with someone. Could be dealing with a Gemini or a But you could be having a lot of conflicts with this person, okay? I feel like this person could be playing a lot of mind games with you. And you could have walked away. From this person, because this person who had probably had fear of commitment, okay? Someone had fear of commitment, commitment issues. Otherwise, just not ready to make up their mind about making a decision that was more logical or that was something that was called for them to do. But there is a lot of love here for the lovers here. This is someone who says, I love you, I want you, okay? Good claim connection for sure, very, very strong bond. But yeah, right now there is this runner chase again going on for you. This person is coming in to express their love to you. There is an apology coming in. After you walked away from this person's mind games, this person wants to work with you. They want to collaborate with you. They're ready to have that teamwork with you. They're ready to come in. There's this emotional communication coming in from this person's side after they've done that contemplation, after they've done that, after that waiting game, okay? So if someone's ghosted at you, be prepared. This person's probably made up their mind and they're making you as their choice. Okay, They're choosing you. And they're coming in to apologize or have some kind of communication. Something that's going to have a wish come true. It's going to be a wish come true for you. Something's going to make you very, very happy. It was probably a wish for you, okay? This person's going to, you were probably very dependent on this person for your happiness. Could have been a very long time when this person's, I mean, probably this person kept you waiting for a very long time. But yeah, they're coming in and you have a wish coming true. Maybe this person ghosted you and you had no idea about what was going on. It was a situation that was draining you out. But yeah, they're coming in and they're ready to put in the effort. They're ready to work on this relationship. Maybe this person earlier, you know, probably things became very boring. Or this person just wanted things to happen, you know, without putting in the work and effort. They were just very lazy and unmotivated. And you probably were putting in all the work. And you chose to walk away. This probably... This person just didn't want to have a conversation about something serious. So every time you wanted to have a conversation about something serious, they just shut you off and you were like fed up and tired and you just chose to walk away and stand up by yourself because you were like, I'm done. But now that you walked away, this person probably has, again, like I said, right? You guys are no more together. And now after a lot of thinking, see, 10 of swords wanted to come out. There's been a painful ending here, okay? You could have felt very backstabbed and betrayed by this person. The Ten of Swords is um, that backstab betrayal, you know, like uh, ending of something very, very painful. You could have felt very hurt when this person just ghosted you. They just probably, you know, um, left without saying anything, which is again what ghosting is. But yeah, this person needed their time, okay? They needed their time. Maybe this is someone who you're dealing with who is a ghoster, okay? Every single time life is them hard or you have, you know, your relationship comes to a point where you guys need to talk about something serious that's when they just want to you know disappear and ghost and finally you have a wish coming through they're going to come and apologize they're going to come and talk to you and they're going to definitely want to work on this relationship but you're very hurt with this ending you literally feel like you like an overkill you know like you did so much in this relationship you gave in so much and um, you just felt very um, cheated by this person. The Ace of Pentacles wanted to come out. Tell me more. Yeah, there's got to be some raw truth coming out of okay, the Ace of Swords. Yeah. 
This person's coming in to take control of the situation. With the Ace of Swords. Yeah, this person's made up their mind, not only with the Page of Cups. I think it's an apology with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, they're coming to clear in the air. There's going to be a breakthrough after this ending has happened. They've taken out their own time, like I said, right? Thought a lot about the situation. That's a very wise person when they take a break, you know? It's like someone who do doesn't do it in order to make you feel bad. Uh, but they just do it because they need that time alone. They need that space. They're very happy with that space with the hermit here. And probably you probably took a step back and you gave them the time to think about it. And then what they've thought about is that they're coming in towards you. With Ace of Swords, you're, there's going to be a breakthrough in your relationship. There's going to be like a huge change. Ace of Swords is success. That's breakthrough. That's clarity. Clear in the air. It's a, it's, it's a very logical decision they're going to make. See? With the tower here, there's going to be a huge shake-up. I mean, this person's going to come in very unexpectedly. You're not going to be expecting them. It could be that probably you with the Eight of Pentacles are very busy working on yourself, you know? And once this person comes in because you're so hurt, you're not expecting this person. It's going to happen all of a sudden. There's going to be something that's going to probably like a very emotional, flirty con communication or something like that. And one thing's going to lead to another. It's going to lead to that brand new uh, beginning, that clarity, okay? And it's just going to... Um, crash down anything that was not built on uh, the right foundation any faulty foundation that's going to happen right you're going to get clarity here someone's moving towards you they want to move towards you with clarity this person or you could have put in some mental distance okay but someone could have put in some distance between you both you could have done this they could have done that but yeah you have an ex coming back six of cups with the ten of cups so this is someone who wants that yeah so you have that six of cups coming back. I'm sorry, I, I had a call coming. You have the six of cups. So this is either someone who is who you have the best of memories with, all right, or this is your soulmate. This is definitely how this person sees you. Okay, this person wants to forget whatever happened in the past year. They wanna they're reminiscing you. They're missing you a lot. And if you're waiting for your ex to come back, they are. They're just going to come out out of the blue. You're not going to be expecting this. That's what I'm saying. And with the Ten of Cups, this person wants a happily ever after with you. They're going to come in and offer your relationship is what I'm getting. See, from the time we're going to the ten here. So, yeah, it's not just going to be something that's just going to make you happy. But it's going to be like a coming together, which is going to be like a union is what I'm getting. Yeah, something's going to take a lot of time. With the temperance here, okay? If you guys want to make this work out, it's going to take its own time, all right? It's going to take its own time with the temperance here. We do have someone who's coming in to take action towards you. This person's very passionate about you. Very passionate about you. They're very zoned in on you. They're very confident that they want you. And uh, very attracted to you. There's a lot of attraction here. Passion. <coughs> But with the temperance here, there's going to need a balance here. If one of you is overdoing something, you guys have to, like, you know, literally, like, come to that halt. You guys have to think things through in a very uh, a moderate way, okay? You can't overdo something. Maybe in the past there was an overdoing of something, okay? Maybe you were someone, you know, who was who had no time, you know, who had no um, patience, who just couldn't wait for something to happen. You know, it's like, I just want it now. Why isn't it happening now? You know, just going crazy, absolutely nuts. Yeah. So this definitely suggests, like I said, patience, moderation, okay? And you guys have to understand and you guys have to, maybe this person is ready to go through the middle part, okay? Maybe earlier for this person, it was all in or all out, or maybe it was you, where you were going through two extremes. Okay, but this time, I think there's going to be that moderation. Someone's, you know, like how we have that black and white, right? But the temperance is all about the gray area where you don't, you cannot be an in, all in or all out. Okay, you have to be very cautious and very thoughtful of your actions. Okay, you will need to consider your actions when it comes to love, your attitude, your beliefs, your thoughts, you know, something could be very excessive. Okay, maybe you're too pushy with your partner, you know, or you're too reserved, one of it. Okay, maybe this person is now finding balance. This person is probably trying to come in and get that balance in your life. Okay, or now they have that balance and they're trying to get it into this relationship. Like I said, either this person was uh, someone who was absolutely reserved and absolutely shut off or this was just someone who was overdoing things, okay, excessively. 
They're finding that balance here and they're coming to bring that balance and peace in your relationship or connection. Tell me what is the outcome Aries can expect this week? What is the outcome for Aries and Lex this week? Nine of Swords, yeah. But looks like there's still a lot of stress here. This person is coming in with communication, okay, with a page of cups, Ace of Swords. There's glad here. Probably you're stressing a lot about <coughs> maybe you're wanting something more committed, more solid. Maybe you're wanting to jump into something like I want commitment or I want something solid. Okay, if it's happening, is it yes or no? Probably. But I think the Nine of Swords, there's some kind of remorse or regret or there's some kind of overthinking and overanalyzing going about a situation here with the outcome here. I don't see you literally not accepting this person back. There is pain here. But I feel when this communication comes in, I feel you guys are going to reconcile because temperance is reconciliation, right? Something is very destined, very fated, but it's just very slow moving. It's going to be at divine timing. So yeah, you're probably going to have to wait for this because when it happens, it's going to happen all of a sudden. It's going to come out of nowhere. You're not going to be expecting this person to come back. But they are. Neither one see. They're coming in with that communication. Okay, This person's very, very uh, passionate about you. They're very passionate, determined, and very enthusiastic about you. So yeah, expect that communication coming, okay? And they're rushing in to talk to you. But with the Nine of Swords here, yeah, I think... Um, my problem with the Nine of Swords is that I think that either this person regrets the entire situation, okay? And they're overthinking. Or this is just you who's in that thought of what if they repeat the same thing again, okay? What if they're going through it again? What if they put me through this bullshit again? Am I sure? Should I take this person back or not? I think you're the one who's not sure about this. It is a wish come true. It's going to make you very happy. But I think with the Ten of Swords, you're, you're not being able to let go of whatever happened in the past. It keeps replaying over and over and over again, which keeps reminding you of the backstabbing and the betrayal and that victim mentality. You need to put an end to that victim mentality here because from the end, we're going to the nine here. You may come and get out of it, but still there's a lot of regret here, a lot of thinking about those neg that, that negative aspect of the relationship. And the nine of swords is that your situation may not be as bad as, as, bad as you think it is. It may be a little, um, you know, it may not be exactly the way you think it is. But if you're going to keep thinking about the past and keep thinking about what didn't work out in the past, you're literally going to manifest it into reality here. So yeah, like I said, it's the temperance here, right, Aries? It could also be you, someone who's like, you know what? It's all in or all out. I don't care. I'm not going to have any patience. I'm not going to wait for this, you know, uh, wait to give anything time. But you will have to give it time. If you want this to work out, you will have to give this time. This person's coming to make things work out with you, okay? But it's just going to be not, it's not going to be at your time, Aries. It's going to be at divine time. So yeah, expect this communication, okay? It's going to be pretty fast. It's going to be emotional. It's going to be probably an apology. And it's going to be like some raw truth that you're getting in, okay? But yeah, it's going to be unexpected. So yeah, expect unexpected, Aries. All right, I hope this reading resonates with you. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.